So the software is installed. We're, we've just got back from the road test and I've done 18,000 miles on this vehicle since I've owned it and not one single mile felt like that. It is night and day difference. I, I, I just can't believe it. Really, really, really impressed. So today at Revo, we've brought down a YouTube sensation, Steve Field, with his absolutely gorgeous T6 Transporter, 150 common rail turbo. These things are absolutely gorgeous for software on, and we wanted to highlight that with Steve. So we've done a whole behind the scenes film showing the process of the live data logging before, the installation of the software, and the data logging after. Typically these vehicles here, they see, they go from 150 horsepower up to 190 horsepower, and they go from about 380, 390 newton meters of torque to around 440 newton meters. And on the data logging, this thing did exactly as it says on the tin. I've got the exterior looking just like I wanted it to. It, it does everything that I imagined it would. And I'm at the point now where it would be lovely to just push that performance on a little bit without making or losing any reliability. And that's where Revo came in for me. I did my research. Um, it's a brand that stood out and I just like it. I just think it's got all the right, the ticks in the right places. And I was very comfortable to approach to have the tuning done. And I think that counts for a lot. You've got to be comfortable. Being part of the transporter scene, I met with Paul because it's obviously a big community and I'm being a, being a YouTuber um, and he spoke of me coming to Revo to look at the stage one tune on the van which became a, 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 an under, a behind the scenes video for me. I've owned the van about 18 months, two years in September. It's done everything I set out to do because I enjoy it with a family but I, I also enjoy, as men do, it's a bit of a toy for me. These are the basics that I'll be logging. Um, you can see the items on there going through. So we've got the engine speed. Uh, we want to see what the turbo is doing, both what the ECU is asking for and what it's actually getting. Uh, we're looking at the engine oil temperature because obviously you don't want to go out and do a full single gear pull if the engine's cold. You need to get up to temperature first of all. Intake temperatures are really important. Uh, we'll have a look at the uh, limitation of the torque and the fueling. And then we're looking at all the exhaust gas temperatures as well through various different sensors. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll also be checking, uh, this will be one log, then we'll do another log where we're actually checking things like the DPF to make sure that it's all healthy and it's not overloaded or anything like that. As part of the process, we, we probably will do a DPF regen anyway, because uh, it's just a good practice. At least then it's all nice and clear and it'll breathe better. Uh, but yeah, for the first log, we'll do this one and then we'll do the other one on the way back. So once we've done a nice long pull, you're putting the vehicle under quite a lot of pressure and that's really good to look at things like the exhaust gas temperatures because the higher gear you're in, the longer the pull, the exhaust gas temperatures tend to get a bit higher. So the first thing we did crucially, as you would do with any software, is actually going out and making sure the vehicle is healthy. So we've done a health check, we've gone out and data logged the vehicle. On the data logging we found out that there was a couple of little bits we wanted to sort out. So we've done a full DPF service regen on the vehicle to make sure the DPF is empty and, and all good to go. We've then installed the Revo Stage 1 software followed that up by the same data logging procedure afterwards as well to make sure that everything is doing exactly as it should. So the software is installed. We're, we've just got back from the road test and I've done 18,000 miles on this vehicle since I've owned it and not one single mile felt like that. It is night and day difference. I, I, I just can't believe it. Really, really, really impressed. So as part of Revo's development to produce our stage one software, we ensure that we do massive miles before we actually release any software. We literally don't just flash it on and forget about it. So all the development's done in-house, first of all. We have a couple of vehicles in. We would actually do 
full tests on them, a lot of diagnostic tests as well. But many, many, many miles on as we're developing the software. And then once we're happy with the level of the software, we then put it out to our dealers to do beta testing. Now we don't use just general public for these, we do use selected dealers. A lot of these dealers have the vehicles that they're happy for us to use. And we would actually use that before we actually release the product. So you know full well with Revo, what you're getting is the finished product. So I've been really privileged today to be able to film my own YouTube uh, video for a behind the scenes look at what Revo do, which Revo will link at the end of this video. So today we've had this fantastic T6 in. We know this already. I'm not going to say that now. I'm going to say something else. <laughs> say something. <laughs> so the, the oh, fuck you. <laughs> <sighs> You're going to do it again, aren't you?